All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for clicking on the video. I do appreciate it. Uh, tonight is a big night for me. And uh, why is that? Well, I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan, if you uh, can't tell. I've played every Mortal Kombat game that's uh, been made for uh, almost every system. Um, there's, a, there's a few that I haven't played, but just versions of like Mortal Kombat 2 and such, like the uh, MS-DOS version or whatever. I haven't played that. But as for all the games themselves, I've played them all from, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat to, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat Special Forces, uh, you know, Shaolin Monks, Mortal Kombat Deception, the new Mortal Kombat, etc., etc. Well, there is one Mortal Kombat game that I'd hate to admit it, but I've never actually played uh, in my life. Back in 2006, this game right here, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, came out. And uh, I never played it. Why did I not play it? Why didn't I try it when it came out? Call it petty, but uh, I was big into the fatalities. And when I saw the, um, the magazine reviews for it, um, but it was probably on the internet, probably internet reviews. Uh, whatever the case is, when, it, when I saw the uh, fatalities in this game, it totally turned me off. I was like, every character has uh, the same fatalities they can choose from? I was like, that's lame. Uh, I'm not going to try it. And the thing is, um, I, I liked Deception. I liked, uh, you know, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Deadly Alliance. I liked those 3D Mortal Kombat games. Now, to me, they'll, they'll never be as good as the, uh, the originals. Um, even back in the day, I almost kind of felt like I was forcing myself to like these games. Because, uh, you know, I, I didn't like Virtua Fighter when it came out. I didn't like how everything was going, you know, polygons and, and, and 3D uh, and such. But, you know, it grew on me. Tekken 3, I thought, was an incredible game for the PlayStation 1. And so, uh, you know, even when Mortal Kombat 4 came out, while I liked it, I really had to kind of force myself to like that one. And, uh, you know, it grew on me. Mortal Kombat 4 ended up being a, a lot of fun. But then when um, Deadly Alliance and, and Deception came out, um, at first I was just like, nah, it's too much. It's getting too complicated now. But, you know, I didn't have anything better to do <laughs> back then. I was, uh, what was I? I was, I, was, I was in my early 20s, I believe, right? So I, uh, you know what? They grew on me. I was playing them. I ended up loving them. And, uh, and then, yeah, and then, like I said, Armageddon came out and, uh, I saw the fatalities. I was like, nah, I'm not, I'm not interested. I'll stick to it. I'll stick with what I like. And, and that was it. And also, you know, with, uh, you know, being in my twenties work, like everything, life was just, it was getting busier and such. And I didn't really have time for games as much back then. So I was like, I'm not going to invest any time into this one. Now in the last year, uh, you know, from doing this channel and from trying all these other versions of Mortal Kombat, uh, I started looking up Armageddon again, and um, it was actually looking looking pretty appealing to me. So the uh, so still though I, I I didn't get it. I mean I I saw it at uh, I even saw it at secondhand shops and at eBay on eBay and such for uh, pretty cheap. But it was when I found out that the premium edition uh, includes Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on it, which I have never played on the PlayStation 2. That was when I was when I said to myself, okay, you know what, I'm going to give this game a chance. And so I started looking for uh, affordable copies of the uh, Premium Edition. So last week I was out for lunch with a buddy of mine, two shops down from uh, where we were eating. This uh, place called Video Games uh, was there, and or is there. And we went in, and actually I went into Video Games looking for the uh, Mortal Kombat Plug and Play. I still want to try that one out because I've seen videos for that now too. And it's, uh, you know, slightly different from the uh, from the arcade and such. So I went in there looking for that. Um, they had tons and tons of, like, nostalgic systems and uh, games and such. And when I was looking at the uh, PlayStation 3 games, I came across the uh, premium edition of Mortal Kombat Armageddon in mint condition. Like, you open this up, the there's not a scratch on any of the discs. It comes with this special little, I don't even know what this is, uh... I don't know what this is, but it's a little, I don't know if it's an iron-on thing or something, but they really took care of this one. So I picked it up finally. The price was right. It was still a little pricey for a PlayStation 2 game uh, that came out 18 years ago. 
But alas, here we go. Steel, steel case, Mortal Kombat uh, Armageddon Premium Edition. And tonight, for the first time in my life, I'm going to try it with, uh, you know, with uh, everybody watching who, who decides to watch this video. It says right on the back, bonus content, playable version of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, which I can't wait to try on the PlayStation 2. But this is the one that has kart racing. And I did try kart racing way back. A uh, buddy of mine had the game, but that's it. We played like maybe one round of kart racing and and that was it. So I tried that, but but that was it. Uh, there's over 50 video character trading cards with uh, MK team commentary, unique animation cell of the uh, cover art. So that's what that little plastic thing on the inside was. You can create characters. There's 60 characters. So you know what? We're going to give it uh, a bit of a playthrough today. I don't know if I'm going to play through the whole thing. This is more just kind of looking at what's included in this. And uh, you know what? It's 18 years old. A lot of a lot of you watching have played through this. You know what the game's about and everything, and that's that's fine. But for me, as a uh, you know a huge fan of Mortal Kombat, not having tried this, I mean, I owe it to myself to do so. So that's what this video is. If you sat through the introduction, I thank you very much. But uh, that being said, let's get into uh, playing this on the uh, PlayStation 2 Mortal Kombat Armageddon Premium Edition. Thank you for checking out the video. All right. You'd see me in the background there on the uh, reflection of the screen. But to, uh, anyways, to experience, there you, you see me right there. To experience this game the way it was supposed to be experienced. We are going to play it on the uh, CRT. Try to focus. There we go. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Powered by GameSpy. Now this was actually a uh, an online Mortal Kombat game. Uh, no profiles. Lots of reflecting going on here. Let's watch the intro. There have been many powerful warriors throughout the millennia. But ages of mortal combat have begun to tear the fabric of the realms. The critical point has finally been reached. That is quite the intro.
apex of destruction. Shang Fun. Alliances will be broken. And old hatreds will be revived. There's Blaze. Hello, everyone. That's cool. I've seen Blaze in the uh, Mugen games. Ooh, a little bit of flickering there. All right. All right. For the sake of this video, I have uh, darkened the lights and uh we're gonna play on the crt now so here we go let's get right into it and see everything that this uh, version has to offer so first off you got combat create a fighter that's another thing so create a fighter uh, made me think of like a wrestling game or something i was like mortal kombat's becoming too gimmicky create a fighter really but you know what it actually looks like a really cool uh, feature in this game to be honest and uh, it's something I will definitely end up doing I've seen a couple of versions recently uh, where they've created um, uh, I, th I think it was on Headlock's channel the uh, they created a Hawk Tua version of Sony <laughs> but uh, anyway so conquest mode is a free roaming uh, over the head kind of 3d ish uh, mode as well you got motor combat which is like mario kart but with uh, mortal kombat characters you got online the crypt once again you get your coins and your currency and stuff and you can unlock things that way extras profiles options so let's go into options first gameplay the combat cpu we're gonna put on easy motor combat easy rounds to win two round time Turning the round time off, death traps on, blood level max, absolutely. Are there any codes for this game? I don't know. There could be. I'm not sure. Create a file. Yes. All right, currently creating a file. We have created file. All right. The audio. I mean, on this TV, it's pretty tiny. For future uh, gameplays and such for this game, we might actually just throw it on the big screen. I do have the up converters to HD, but it still looks pretty rough. But this is the, uh, I do like the announcer's voice. I like the speech. All right, done. <clears throat> Auto saving. What a feature that was. But anyways, we're just going to play around for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. And, um, and yeah, see what this game has to offer. Contrast looks good. The brightness looks good. Widescreen. Now, that's cool. So, if I do play it on the big screen, then I will uh, switch it over to widescreen. Progressive off. Screen position's fine. Controller, everything's fine. Let's check out the extras. Credits. John Woo presents Stranglehold. Interesting. Spy Hunter, nowhere to run. And then Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, PlayStation 2 edition. 
do we want to get into that first and just take a look at what uh, that looks like on here that is a big yes so this is the uh, reason i wanted the premium edition because i wanted to play this on playstation 2. it's the first time i've ever played it on a uh on the playstation 2. i'm pretty sure it plays just like oh well i guess we'll find out the uh, loading screen here is already the same as uh, midway Ooh, beautiful arcade treasures 2. and there we go ultimate mk3 Ooh, something happened there. And do you have to unlock? Ooh, you do have to unlock the, uh, the secret characters. That kind of sucks. Awesome. You know what? I gotta tell you. Moving left and right on the controller, it feels like there's slight to uh, slight latency. Fight. That's blocked. Oh, this is beautiful. It looks really good. I tell you, PlayStation 2 really handled this well. Very good. Good clarity. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Well, this is PlayStation uh, 2 hardware, so I mean, it can definitely handle it. There you go. I don't think there was any loading. Slight choppiness. But overall, Round one, fight. let's see, can Shang Fun morph without, uh, without loading? I'm pretty sure he can. PlayStation 2 is a very powerful system. Let's see if it gets psycho hard uh, come the uh, next level. So after I beat uh, Shang, Shang Fun. But this is awesome. PlayStation 2. So far, so good. This is where, yeah, so even the um, pause menu is the um, is the same as the uh, Arcade Treasures and the same as the uh, version on the PSP. But it's a good thing. Everything looks good. Hasn't gotten ridiculously hard yet. I am impressed. Am I easily impressed? Maybe. But this is awesome. <laughs> this version is exactly like I thought it would be. If I only knew back in the day that this was available, um, 2006, I probably would have bought it, to be honest. And who knows, I might have even been better. Oh, let's do that again. I might have even been better at this game had I played it more back in 2006. Who knows? <laughs> Because I tell you, I probably would have uh, kept returning to it. Alright, Jade. Jade is usually incredibly hard. Although with Cyrax... Okay, there you go. With Cyrax can kind of cheese her. But yep, she's definitely going nuts. It plays like the arcade. <laughs> Yes. Oh, man. Uh, went right through her there. 
<laughs> all right, so we checked out Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I'm going to uh, definitely get back to it uh, for another video, do a full playthrough. I think I, I do want to see how, uh, if they included endings and, and such. I, I am interested in uh, playing through that in its entirety. But uh, this this video is just to uh, check out the uh, you know the other modes and such that are on here. So it resets the entire game pretty much when you back out of that. Uh, these profiles are loaded. Mm, that's interesting. Thought I did save, but maybe not. Anyways, all right, we're not gonna watch the intro again. Let's check out the uh, actual gameplay for. Oh, we still got Motor Combat. We're gonna visit Motor Combat next time. The Crypt. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot in this. I definitely want to try out Conquest mode next time. Let's do a playthrough of uh, Armageddon. And there you go, you have tons of characters. You got three secret characters. You got Zombie, Liu Kang. Shiva. Shiva looks cool. Baraka, Shao Kahn, Goro, Kentaro. You can use Onaga, Moloch, the bosses of the other uh, 3D Mortal Kombat games. Natara's in this one. Kira. Serena's in this version, Li Mei, Ashra, Ashra's a cool character, Jade, Melina, Katana, Sonya, Shinnok, you got Raiden, you got, oh, those, the, uh, the blue and the red character there on the right and left side are the, um, are the create your own characters, Cobra's in this again, who's just basically Ken, Shujinko, the star of, uh, Mortal Kombat, Deceptions, um, what is it? Conquest mode or whatever, whatever they call it in that one. Dairo, Dairo, Jarek. So it does have everybody that uh, was in a Mortal Kombat game to date, to 2000, up to uh, 2006. A lot of these characters I don't care for at all, really. Got a nice looking version of Striker there, Night Wolf. So. Tons of characters, very cool. Johnny Cage. But let's try... Let's try Bo Raicho. He was always kind of a cool character. Bo Raicho. I liked his uh, drunken drunken style of uh, fighting. That was always cool. Got Blaze at the top of the pyramid. Oh, very cool. Now I wonder, do you have to unlock fatalities in this one? Or does it tell you how? Because, like I said, when I first saw this game and it came out, I wasn't interested because I felt like everybody was using each other's uh, fatalities. And I didn't, I didn't like that. One, fight. I'm going to quickly pause it, check the moves. So it does tell you... Drunken Fist, yeah, so you have two styles, and this is when, like I said, the game started getting complicated, you know, with all the different styles and moves and special moves, Drunken Fist, so it doesn't even look like it tells you how to uh, do any of the fatalities, so that kind of stinks, but, uh, you know, let's just see what the gameplay's like, special moves, belly bash, so many moves, Puke Puddle, that was always a cool one. All right. Lock. There we go, nice little throw. Nice. You can punch him on the upper deck in this one. That's cool, that's new to me for this. But it basically just plays like Deception and uh, Deadly Alliance, 100%, as far as I'm concerned. Drunken Fist, Kempo. And then he's got Jiu Jitsu, which is with the bow staff. Now I wish I knew some of the fatalities, but again, this is just me uh, checking it out and seeing what it's like. 
<laughs> I gotta love that move. More barf. We do have a death trap set on, so I can uh, maybe get a fatality that way. Double tap back. See if there's anything. Thanks, oh, Rogan. I'm so used to pushing that button to throw. But let's see. No idea. No idea. Something I would definitely have to uh, look into. But yeah, it uh, plays just like uh, Deadly Alliance and uh, Deception. Very cool. Cool stage. So you see yellow, so you can get... Uh, so if he knocks me into the yellow there, he can actually knock me into the fan, I believe. So let's try to knock him into the fan. And then if it's red, I believe it's like a... Uh, Let's, let's give him the opportunity here. Nope. And now, you know what? This game's 18 years old, so a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, it's, an, it's an old game. Like, what are you doing? I think we haven't played that before. But, uh, you know what? It's new to me. fan on the ceiling too. I wonder if you could have uh, uppercut them into the ceiling. Let's see if we can do a full playthrough. Get an ending. And uh, yeah, and see what the endings are like. Got the subway. Right on. Oh, and you got the red there. So that means, let's see if we can get them. Smoke looks pretty cool. Here. There we go. Try, try to get him into the. Uh... Ooh, breaker. I'll just let him get me in there. Okay, go ahead, do your worst. Not, not doing it. Let's see what this thing is. Like. Judo. Smoke is uh, judo. That's a good thing. There we go. Very cool. Smoke with flawless victory. So I believe another fatality in this too is the Harakiri. Do you want to continue? Yeah, sure. Let's continue. Let's try. And even the combos are different. It just it plays like, like a 3D game, right? It plays a lot different from the other. Shujinko. Try Shujinko. And you know what? I said I was going to do a full playthrough. If I lose again, let's uh, check out Motor Combat instead. And uh, and then, yeah, then we'll probably call it a video. <clears throat> call it a day. How about that? Round one. Fight! Bicycle kick. Oh, yeah, 
actually does get the sound too. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Maybe I can kill him. Okay. buttons. Nice. I remember this stage. Frame style for chameleon. That's cool. Let's try to get chameleon or myself over in the red. There you go, honey marmalade for Shujinko. Honey marmalade! Well, oh, beautiful. Did we get him? Oh, come on, get him into the death trap. to uh, learn some of the moves for this, that's for sure. We got Den Ten Diao. I can't believe he has a Karate Kid style. Death, I like it. All right. So not gonna lie, it looks really good on this uh, CRT. I'm very impressed. Round one, fight. So he's uh, he's using Hungar style right now. I wonder if it's the same as Hangry style. Got the 
bugs flying around him. I do like that throw, that's very cool. Iron Club. What do you think of that? Finish me, do something, do something cool. Oh, right on. Pit Fatality. Mice taking my body parts. Very, very cool. All right. So that's that was cool. Do you want to continue? No, we're not going to continue that. We're going to actually try kart racing, motor combat, and then we will. Uh, and then we'll ooh, try something else. Botan Jungle, the Lost Pyramid, Boraicho's Brewery. So you got five tracks so far. I wonder if you can unlock others. Uh, selectable characters, Baraka, Boraicho, Johnny Cage, Cyrax, Jax, Katana, Molina, Raiden, Scorpion. All right, that's good. Cool. Sub-Zero. We are in Bi Bo Raichos. Bo Raicho. Let's play. That's cool. Let's see how this handles, if I can remember. Pretty good. Ooh, not sure about the drifting. I don't think there is drifting. And I think the power ups are the uh, Mortal Kombat symbol, perhaps. Whatever the case, so far, so good. There we go. You puked on Molina. Very good. <laughs> oh, puke ready. Nice. Power up. There we go. Is that a power up or just a coin? Not sure. Whatever the case, this is pretty fun. I know I would have uh, gotten a kick out of this with my sister. She was the one who used to always play uh, play the games with me. Oh, did I get someone? You know what, it's really cool that they uh, that they added this in the game. They didn't have to, it still would have been an incredible game without it. But uh, they really gave you a bang for your buck back then. There were no... Uh... There were no add-ons, you couldn't, uh, you know, wait for them to release add-ons that you could download. Like, you would get whatever you paid for all at once. It was a finished game when you would get it, unlike uh, a lot of the games you buy nowadays. But they're not even finished when you buy them. I puked on Raiden right on. <clears throat> so that, to, to include this in the, uh, on the disc, 
show deal. Like they really wanted to give you your uh, value for your money back then. And I think, oh my goodness. Oh no. Molina wins. By a hair. But they really gave you a bang for your buck back in the day. Like I said, no add-ons, no microtransactions. They would just give you an entire game, and it was it was a good time. So it looks like this is just one race at a time. That's not a terrible thing. Uh, maybe it was more meant for uh, two players kind of thing. Raiden. Raiden. Let's do one more race. But this, this, like, if they made a motor motor combat on its own and really put in the effort and time to to make it like a great game, they they could have had something with this, I think. Because uh, Super Mario Kart is one of the best games ever ever made, in my opinion. I loved it for every system that I played it for. for well, every version of it. I played every version of it, and uh, I'm telling you, it's it's a fantastic game. Baraka took a swing. But yeah, Mario Kart 64, the, um, my favorite version was the uh, Wii U version. And I know they redid it on the Switch, but uh, I didn't... I couldn't justify getting it on the uh, Switch when I already had it for the Wii U. That's awesome. You got the uh, funky Mortal Kombat style music. It tracks in decent. Oh, I'm out of uh, power ups. But uh, yeah, playing this stage now, you don't see anyone on the track really. They're all behind me. It is kind of kind of simple. But like I said, they were ambitious. They included uh, they included a lot. Lightning shield ready. Nice. But I mean, you get a you get a groove, you get your rhythm going, and, and it's actually like you're just playing a qualifying race or something. Not much going on. Oh, it looks the uh, the side was red there. I should drive into that and see if uh, see if I'll get killed by doing that. And you can bump by pushing the uh, right analog, left and right. You can bump. You gotta wait for that to power up. But I did see a red border on the left side of the track at one point. So let's see if we can fall off the track and have something cool happen. Right here. There you go. <laughs> Smash it to a wall. That's cool. There we go, smash to the wall again. I like that. That is so cool that they added that. A little extra speed boost there. Fatality. Oh! There we go, took a swim. <laughs> Yeah, they definitely could have done a lot more with this if they made like a standalone game. But, uh, you know, whatever the case, I get it. It's they crammed a lot into this disc as it is. And what I might I add too, the uh, premium edition of Armageddon comes with a bonus DVD disc, and I think it is a character profile for every character uh, in this game character cards where the um, creators of the game actually talk about the characters. I could be wrong, but I will definitely have to visit that too. I might be able to come in first. Oh, just wanted that symbol. This one too. Alright, can we still do I have enough 
time to bump this. Oh, nice. Jax pounded you. <laughs> That's interesting. Jax wins. wins. Alright, so there you have it. Two races in motor combat. Definitely has potential. But it's not the uh, focal point of this disc. Alright. Let's get out of that. Now we still have Creative Fighter, Conquest, and then the Crypt. There's a lot to do in this, and once I uh, figure out some of the fatalities and such, we will have to show that. All right. All right, so there you have it. Uh, my first experience with uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Um, I'm only 18 years late uh, into trying this, but... You know what? It is what it is. I uh, I got the premium edition and I got to play it finally, as you saw. And uh, what is my impression of it? Well, it was it was good. It was fun. The um, the game itself. I mean, I wish I would have studied up some of the moves or whatever, but not not a big deal. I just wanted to see what this offered. And there's a lot. There's a lot on that uh, on that disc. Um, the conquest mode. I didn't even touch on that yet. But uh, you know, the inclusion of motor combat and ultimate Mortal Kombat three. 60 characters, tons of moves, tons of stages. Like, they they packed the hell out of this uh, disc. And um, you know what? Back in 2006 when it came out, I should have picked it up back then because I know I would have invested the time into it. It's funny what we forget when, uh, you know, when we get older because I used to beat the hell out of uh, Deception and... Um, and Deadly Alliance, and now I don't remember. I don't remember any of the moves or anything uh, to do with with those games. Um, you know, same with a lot of games from our pasts. The only one that ever really stuck with me was Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, and the original Mortal Kombat. And uh, you know, I, I haven't forgotten those moves. And it's it's crazy that that's that's what I retained. That's the information that I kept stored in my memory. Whereas these kind of games, I you know, I have save states and such for uh, for the other games to show that I've played through a lot of them, and then and now my reflexes suck, and it's just it's such it's so it's so different. Um, you know, now that now that I'm in my 40s, revisiting these these games, and again, like this one for the first time, I know I know I would have invested the time back then into it, but uh, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm, I'm happy I got to try it. I'm happy I found this this version. I am going to try to put a little more time into it and uh, figure out some fatalities and such and do a full playthrough. I do want to see some of the endings and I do want to play through Ultimate MK3 in its entirety on uh, on this too. Just to, just to say I did it. And... Um, and yeah, and I'm, and I'm really pleased with this uh, with this purchase. So, anyways, thank you for spending the last half hour or so with me. I do appreciate it. Um, I had a fun time playing, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, next time I play it, maybe I'll throw it in widescreen and do it on the uh, on the big TV. So, we'll do that uh, probably next time. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, thank you very much for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your life, and I will see you in another video.